haven't filmed too much in there because there was like weird strobing lights but these are the two new houseplants that i've picked up i don't really know what they're properly called this says calathea and then this says like watermelon i guess because the leaves look like watermelons but um yeah i don't know like if they have any other more like colloquial names but i've got them to go in these two pots so i hope that they fit yeah oh yeah that fits really well and then the pot for this one is a little bit big for now but it'll probably grow into it this is currently where i've got all my plants at the minute well most of my bigger plants in the living room so this is like a I can't remember what it's called it's an ikea unit but so I'm going to spread my plants out a little bit more and it's going to look really good. I might not keep the candle there, probably not when it's lit. But yeah, this one is like super churning down there. And then my spider plant is, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. Am I supposed to like plant these into like new spider plants? I think I am because I've got loads of babies in the back as well as like around here. This one did used to be in the office, but it's now in here just because I used to neglect it in the office. And then this one is from a clipping that Becca gave me. I don't remember what it's called. I don't know what any of them are called really, apart from like the super obvious ones. And I think this is my pothos, which used to be in the bathroom. No, used to be in the hallway, um, but it's happier here, I think. <laughs> first roll of stickers on this i don't know how to get the roll off i think i just like pull this thing because it's a magnet so that is like the backing paper of a whole roll and then there's a few random ones that for some reason didn't make it off the roll but yeah i can't believe i've used like the whole thing <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and to another studio vlog. It's Tuesday right now and we've been working on albums all day. I've been laminating and assembling a few. I've only really done like this one so far and Tom has been cutting them. I was gonna have him just do stickers this week but I think if he can cut the albums while I'm making them it will speed the whole process up because I think I've bitten off more than I can chew again with the albums. I was gonna do new ones as well and so far I've only like restocked old ones but I've printed the reusable, the small ones and the large ones are printing now and I've got like two days left, well two and a half days left to make them so hopefully I'll get them all done in time for Friday. The mystery also went live today as well, I'm going to show you the sneak peek because it's really cute and you can pick this up until the 1st of February. So if you go on the website it is like the first thing you see and then when you click there is the sneak peek in the second picture. So this is the February kit. How cute is the little bunny? Normally I do like dogs and cats so I'm really excited to be doing a bunny in this collection.
good progress has been made. I've done all the bow ones, Nebula, this one I showed you, um, Planet Esk. There's a few moon ones. There are a few random designs that I didn't like do a big restock of that I just, oops, that I just found extras of. I have done Happy Place. This was my exclusive artwork um, five year anniversary collection and that's the old silhouette that I've replaced. So tonight I'm hoping to finish all the reusable ones. So I've got Cobalt to do, quite a few mauve rose. This is like the last big one. And then like a handful of these two. We just had dinner, so I've had a little bit of a break and I'm gonna get back to it. My hands really ache. <laughs> that's like the main thing because I'm like putting a lot of pressure on the album with the squeegee thing. So it just like really makes your hands hurt. I don't know if it's like a repetitive strain thing or something, but I'm just really weak and don't use my hands for a lot of things apart from typing. So when I make albums, I'm always like really tired. <laughs> I also need to quickly edit the plan with me tonight um, and do the voiceover because I said I was going to do it in last week's video on Sunday and like just didn't get around to it so I need to do that today because one goes up tomorrow and the other one goes up on well a week tomorrow but I really wanted to just have it ready but yeah I think I'm going to work late tonight because we're out tomorrow night we're going to my mum and dad's for dinner so I probably won't get a lot done tomorrow like in the evening I'll get like a normal day's work done but I really want to get the albums done so I'm hoping finish reusable today, get the large ones laminated, and then Tom will cut them and the small ones tomorrow so I can assemble the small and large tomorrow. Fingers crossed I get them done. I don't think I will. Um, but in an ideal world, if I do get all that done, I've got Thursday to take photos and make a few new albums, so that would be good. I also need to make oops bags and grab bags because I said I was going to do that over the weekend and didn't. <laughs> I keep like over estimating what I can get done, but it's fine. <laughs> I, I will get it done, it's just at what cost? <laughs> no, I'm being really dramatic, it's fine. <laughs> I can also get Tom to do that as well, because like, it was bags are pretty easy to put together when he's done them before. And then Friday is Tom's birthday, so I need to like wrap his presents and get all that sorted. I wanna bake him cookies. I don't like know where he is, so I'm gonna whisper. But I'd like to make him Jane's Patisserie NYC cookies. They look really good and you can freeze them so I would probably make like a whole batch but only cook a few so we could have them like over the next few weeks. So I hope I get time to do that but if I do I will show that in the vlog as well but that will probably be Thursday night. So basically <laughs> I just need to have a very productive week and stay on track and it'll be fine. So let's make some albums. <laughs> Just got the email that my macbook shipped i'm so excited so as you can see it's been like a full month since i ordered it um which is what they said to be fair so it's fine um but it should come tomorrow so these are all of the small albums that i've been making today i've also done these ones these ones and these ones i think i don't actually know how many are here there's over a hundred 
maybe about 120. I've done roughly 10 of each design. I'm going to make my way through large albums now. I'm not doing as many large albums, but it will still take me quite a lot of time because there are two stickers per album. You've got the back and the front and also the spine. Also need to sort out the recycling because it is recycling day, so all this has to go outside. These are sticker books that need to go away. Hoover attachment for some reason is in here. And I've also got my small albums and my large ones. My laptop just arrived. I'm gonna open it in a bit because I'm still trying to finish the albums. I've just got these ones left to do. There's like 15 here, but I think quite a few are oops, which is a little bit annoying. But it is this new um, coffee and flowers design. So I've got like a flat lay on the front and then the back is the scene. So when it's open, it will look like this. Super cute, really happy with this design. Like I wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out because I tried to put the scene on the front and like a pattern on the back, but I think this looks a lot cuter because you get to see loads of the clip art elements. But yeah, gonna finish these and I also need to take some photos because there's a few new albums. There's this one and this one. And these are not new. Oh my God, I've got Costa Cups everywhere. This is so bad. <laughs> these are from like another day. Um, but yeah, so this is a Cyber Monday album, but I did this for 2019 Cyber Monday, so it's really old and I didn't sell that many because I did like a pre-order kind of thing and I sold maybe like two and then the same with this one, so I thought I would re-release them because this is quite like a Valentine's-y, well I mean it's pink, but I feel like it would be a good Valentine's Day kind of release. So I've got those three new ones and then there are a few albums that... I'm just not really very happy with the picture, so I'm just gonna re-photograph it, probably just for the main listing photo, just so that it looks a bit nicer on the website. And then today is gonna be a big like oops and grab bag day. So I'll probably set my laptop up while I'm doing those. seen look at it it's like cursive this is adorable <laughs> This is my lettuce now. I have been feeding it to Enzo. These two I like took the pods out um, and these ones I just cut the lettuce off so I don't know what I'm actually supposed to do to harvest it but he really likes it and Tallulah has been eating a little bit as well but I have to cut it out quite small for her. But yeah I think I'm ready to like harvest all of this soon and then plant something new. We're gonna head back to the garden centre now and have a look at compost because we have bought some planters from a garden Facebook marketplace. We were gonna make them, but these were like really well priced and I just thought it was easier to buy them for like our first ones and then we can maybe make some in the future. So we're gonna go and have another look. And it's kind of funny because I started the vlog at the garden centre and I'm probably gonna end it after the garden centre. <laughs> So 
we've just got back and we have a good idea of what we need to order. We're a little bit concerned about quantities because it just seems like an awful lot of soil that we need to buy. <laughs> but I think we're going to order half of what we think we need and then see how far it goes. And then we can kind of work out if we got the estimate right for half because we've ordered four planters. I don't know if I've said, but I'll put a picture on screen of what we've ordered. And we're going to put like, well, we're going to do like root vegetables and like non-hydroponic stuff in those and then I'm not really sure what we're doing with the hydroponic stuff because we've got my little hydroponic setup but I think Tom is going to build like a bigger kind of system. We are going to be putting it on a separate channel but it's going to be like me and Tom and we'll probably do that once we actually get something to show because right now we're just like trying to plan stuff and order things. Sorry about Ari tippy tapping, he's being really annoying. We had a mouse in the garden and it was like hiding behind the wee bin. This was like a few days ago and he's been really really interested in that area of the garden since and he keeps wanting to go outside but he doesn't actually want to go outside for like the toilet, he just wants to go and stare at the wheelie bin even though the mouse is long gone so he's being really annoying and just keeps walking towards the door and obviously like I have to let him out sometimes because like he might genuinely need to go outside but he has literally just been out so I know he's trying to wind me up and he just wants to go outside to be annoying. He's also been moving the bricks around so we have bricks that keep the gate open they're like wedged up against the wall like to keep the gate open and he's been moving them to shut the gate. I think maybe the mouse was also hiding behind the gate at one point so it probably just smells like the mouse but yeah, it was definitely a really tiny mouse and not a rat because I would be more concerned if we had a rat. But yeah, I think it's just like one singular mouse. I've never seen one before or hopefully since. But fingers crossed it was just a weird one-off. But we also had a cat in the garden a few days ago. So there's just so much wildlife in this garden that shouldn't be there. So for the rest of the day, I'm going to pull some stickers and film a plan with me for the week before this current week. I don't know what kit I'm going to use yet. What is going on? Oh my god, Amazon's at the door. Someone is at the front door. These are just some cardboard boxes that I No, not cardboard. These are just some plastic boxes that I ordered to put albums in. So yeah, I'll probably do that too today. I just want to organise the blank album stock that I've got. Like, just keep a few in the office and then the rest can go in the garage. But yeah, so the kit I'm going to use for this week, which is like Tom's birthday week, I'm going to use a Caress Press mystery kit. It was the Cyber Monday space themed one, but I ordered it like early this week and it, it did arrive to my stackery. I think it arrived yesterday, but I need to ship it over. So I'll probably film that plan with me a little bit later than I've been filming the other ones. I really wanted to use it for Tom's birthday because it's like a little bit space themed. It's kind of space and like bubble tea. So bubble tea is like a random theme that isn't meaningful to either of us, but he really likes space and like NASA, I guess, and like the rockets and stuff. <laughs> You can tell that I'm not that into it, but <laughs> I think it would be a fun kit to use and I really love the artwork, so I'm so excited to use that. But anyway, I'm going to end the studio vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Just a quick reminder, it is your last day tomorrow, I think, or the next day to sign up for the February Mystery, so don't miss out if you did want to pick that up. But yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!